Hello, I am Dr. Sean Koo. I'm a surgical oncologist in Glen Eagles, Penang. Today I'm going to talk a little about uh, pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer is one of the most deadliest cancer that we know. It typically affects people in the sixth decade of life. You probably have heard about famous people uh, that had pancreatic cancer before, uh, notably uh, Steve Jobs from Apple, Patrick Swayze, which is an actor, and even uh, Pavarotti, which was the uh, opera singer. They all had and succumbed to pancreatic cancer. Now, the pancreas uh, is located kind of like in the upper middle portion of the body and it's at the back portion of uh, our abdominal cavity. Its function is typically to produce insulin, uh, to control our blood sugar, and also to uh, produce enzymes for fat and protein digestion. Most patients with pancreatic cancer, they have no symptoms until the tumor is fairly large or fairly advanced. Most symptoms of pancreatic cancer includes abdominal pain, sometimes painless jaundice, or even um, early signs of diabetes. However, most patients that have pancreatic cancer present late when they are very jaundiced or when the cancer is very advanced and has metastasized, which makes the treatment a little more complicated. Uh, the current standard today is there is no real surveillance for pancreatic cancer. For breast and for colorectal cancers, you typically have a screening program where you have a very strict recommendation on when you should have a mammogram, an ultrasound, or even a screening colonoscopy. For pancreatic cancer per se, you don't. You actually go get it checked when you have symptoms. Most pancreatic cancer is diagnosed during a test that is performed that is unrelated to the pancreas itself. For instance, a health screening, uh, ultrasound of the abdomen that may pick up a lesion, or a scan of the abdomen following a fall, a trauma, or for some other abdominal pain that is unrelated to the pancreas problem itself. Now, these patients that once diagnosed, they stand a better chance for treatment and a curative resection because the tumor is fairly early. Most patients with pancreatic cancer, when they have symptoms, the tumor is fairly advanced and may not be able to be cured at all. The mainstay treatment for pancreatic cancer is surgery. Surgery will give you the best, best option of removing the whole thing and offers you the best chance of long-term survival. If surgery is not a possibility, then we come down to the second most common treatment, which is chemotherapy and radiation. Now, there have been advancements of treatment for pancreatic cancer. We are now using something called biologics or immunotherapy for pancreatic cancer that will prolong your survival, but most of the time, a cure may not be possible. Thank you for your time. Again, I am Dr. Sean Koo, a surgical oncologist in Clinical Spinning.